Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to explicitly overload the generic functions. You know, even though a generic function overloads itself as needed, you can explicitly overload it too. And it is called as explicit specialization. If you overload a generic function, that overloaded function overrides the generic function relative to that specific version. You know, if it is confusing, don't worry. Let's begin with the example. All right, here, uh, first we're gonna write a generic function, you know, which is gonna take uh, now one or two parameters and it's gonna do something. Let's say template, you know, the template keyword and then the less than and greater than symbol and we need to write the keyword type name and then we need to uh, give a name for the identifier or the generic type let's say t and then we need to write the return type of our generic function it's gonna be void and then we need to write the function name let's say what you got you know you know we are using display too many times and uh, you know just a new name all right then uh, you know this function is going to take a parameter you know which is of this generic type t so i'm going to refer t here and uh, uh, let's say a variable x and inside this function we're just going to say inside what you got generic function and then uh, we're gonna end this line and then i'm gonna use another c out and i'm just gonna say i got x x and equal to and then just insert x and let's end this line all right now we have a generic function you know what you got and it's gonna take one parameter now what we're gonna do is we can write another function you know which is not gonna be a generic function but the name of that function is gonna be what you got and it's gonna take a integer parameter so what I can do is I can copy this full statements and I can write here and this function is not gonna be a generic function you know it's gonna be a normal function and the parameter is gonna take is gonna be of type integers and here we're just gonna say normal function I can group this what you got and here also all right now you know we have two functions one is a generic function another one is a normal function with the same name and same number of parameter so here you know all of us know that when we write a generic function you know it can take any type of data here you know this what you got can take any type you know it can take integers floating point character string any type the another normal function which we have written can take only integer type so what happens when you call this what you got function you know in our main function so let's see that and before that we need to do the function prototyping so i'm gonna copy this paste it here and then i'm gonna copy this one and paste it here and add the semicolon all right now in our main function what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna call what you got and then i'm gonna pass let's say a floating point value 23.456 and then i'm gonna call it again what you got and i'm gonna pass let's say 22 uh, integer value and then i'm gonna call it again and uh, this time i'm gonna pass a string value let's say anil shetty now you know what we have done here is you know we have written a generic function and we have written a normal function with the same name and you know for a specific data type or you know in other words what we are doing is we are overloading this generic function with a normal function you know when we overload a generic function that overloaded function you know here in this case it's gonna be this function overrides the generic function relative to that specific version you know you know if you call a function what you got and pass integer value you know this function will be called you know because it overrides the integer version of this template function or the generic function all right now i'm gonna save this i'm gonna build and run this okay we have an error okay that's because of this you know stream insertion operator and here also all right i'm gonna save this 
I'm gonna build and run this and now you guys can see inside what you got generic function that's because you know we have passed our floating point value you know in this first call and then we passed our integer value and that's why it says inside what you got normal function you know in the second uh, call and it says I got 22 you know the value which we have passed and again we know when we pass a string value you know inside what you got generic function and it says I got an shitty so here you guys can see you know this function is overriding the integer version of this generic function and this is called explicit specialization we are explicitly overloading a generic function for a specific version all right the next thing that i want you guys to teach you is about another syntax that is used to denote the explicit specialization of a function you know here what you can do is we can use the template keyword you know in this uh, uh, normal function it should be template and then less than and greater than symbol and we're gonna leave it empty you know we're not gonna write any um, type name or you know any uh, generic type here and then we need to write the return type then the function name and then here we're gonna use the less than and greater than symbol again and we're gonna write the type of data that this function is gonna be working this is another version of denoting the explicit specialization of a function so you know both are valid let's gonna build and run this okay we got an error and if I open up the logs it says undefined reference to what you got and okay that's because of this function prototyping so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this and uh, I'm gonna paste it here and I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna build and run this and now you guys can see you know it works you know as it was working before so you know this new style is helpful you know if you're writing a very large program and you know when you see this code you'll come to know that okay you are explicitly overloading a generic function here you know if you use this new syntax so this is it guys this is about the explicit overloading of generic functions in C++ thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial